Anybody busy in the room here? In the nonprofit sector, it's crazy. You know, it doesn't matter if it's victim services, children's aid, or these organizations that have no staff. They're crazy busy. Give me some practical things that we really could do. That's what we're going to try to do today. Whether you have a big organization with lots of revenue, or if you have a tiny organization with all volunteer run, that you could leave here with real practical things you can start doing in the next 90 days. So everything from the boundary form, managing in this economy, governance, reducing your liability, volunteer management, volunteer driving, screening, employment practices, child protection, which is a passion of mine. We've learned how to do things in a simple way because that's what organizations need. They don't need a hundred more things to do. They need, give me something I can do in three minutes, five minutes. We're about confident risk management based on data, not let's be scared about everything because I don't believe it. But at the same time, do you know Ontario, how many laws do we have to protect nonprofits in Ontario? Zero. Lawsuits. You want to know the lawsuits? 106 lawsuits against Canadian nonprofits and charities in the last 10 years. But even still, even considering that, the reality is it's a pretty safe place to be if some basic, reasonable risk management put in place today. We talk about risk management. Everybody volunteers and staff, risk management, legal liability. Nobody cares about that stuff. What they care about is tell me how to do what we do better. Let me give you a little example here. Here's a seniors organization that had a large number of people falling down. They've reduced falls in the one year period 80%. 80% by having one volunteer whose job was to offer an arm to come in. Now here's the cool thing. They are known now as a seniors organization. Are they the ones that walk you in the door? Or is that the one where the volunteer walks in? The it's not risk management, it's customer service. So, how can you protect yourself and also make sure your organization is really run well from a governor standpoint? The point here is that nonprofits often have a big heart but forget to protect their own people. So it's, it's allowing your, your volunteers and your staff to really believe the risk management we're going to do is going to put you at the pinnacle. We're going to protect you and I hope because of that you're going to see that we want you to stick around and give us your best efforts.